What has this body of work been about? What are we doing? And I cast my thinking back to summer 1972. Some of you were there, or some of you it was a dream. Um, and in that summer, we took a look at what were the key dynamics that any movement created in the midst of its life. And out of that came a body of work called the Whistle Points. I'm just going to remind you of the Whistle Points in case you forgot. There were, there were four key strategies that we said every movement had. Every movement had some type of awakenment. How did you get the new message out? What was the new understanding, the new possibility? And then once there was a, a body of people who had that new understanding, how did they create some demonstration of the possibility? Places you could go, take a look, what was happening, walk around, get the feel of it. We also noticed that any movement had a training strategy. How did you bring people who are awake new skills, new understandings, a training dynamic, and then an interchange dynamic? Okay, and in the center, were what we called, so these were the four key strategies. In the center was the people, the forces. And we talked about at the very center was a core dynamic. And these, I realize these words might change as you go along, but this is kind of the way we talked about it. A core at the center. With that was a group of guardians who needed to give, um, you know, say this group was great. Um, or guard the flank, uh, watch out for these landmines. There was a number of different roles the guardian played. Uh, walk you in the door. People could walk you in the door. Different understanding of guardians. And then there were folks that were part of the, the task forces, the work. They might be linked to the core. They might, um, might be linked to the core. They might have just gotten a great idea and started to run with it. Uh, different ways the task forces happen. And then finally, there was two what we called factors. These were kind of like the mystery resided here, I think, would be one way of talking about that. What was the action? It was like, and the action planning, the understanding. Where do we go? What do we do? How do we have a common action? And the last one up here was the myth factor. What's the new story? What's the new understanding? I said, some of you might recall this a little differently than I recall it here. <laughs> but that's what, this is when I go out and work. This is what I still teach. And I talked then about the ICA and how the ICA made all of these come alive. And if you look here at the list, of, of all the different archives, I'm just going to read off a sample of these. We talked about here in Awakenment, profound selfhood. This was our RS1. This was our forms. This was our, um, any of those kind of quick ways of just having people come alive uh, in, in this place. In our demonstrations, in the life of the IC, we had kind of two major demonstrations. We had our whole local church experiment. And I know the local church experiment had training in it, awakenment, interchange, but it was a demonstration of what uh, the church coming alive looked like. What did churches work together? What did that look like? So that was kind of one of the demonstrations. The other major demonstration was our fifth city, our Marjoro, our O. Oh, the one in Australia, Umbuguri, and then the 24, and then the expansions, and all of that. So this, this whole piece was the, the demonstration of new possibility, radically alivehood. New, new images were taking shape here. Over here, in the training, we've got our, all of our training, our formation uh, events, our academies, our ITIs, our um, student house our training inks, our uh, pedagogy, our all of that deep understanding, short term, long term, you know, the training programs, rich history there. And then the fourth strategy, 
And we came upon this uh, as a real strategy with our IERD. And perhaps before that also with the symposiums we did in the 80s when we brought people together, look at their geography. I remember in Iowa we did 2,000 interviews in terms of people coming together. Now, in one sense you could put any of these in different places, but the IERD here as an interchange, um, let's see, the rural experts, all the different sharing approaches that work. And this in one sense continues on as one of our key strategies, also our sharing fairs. You can see where it, the strategy pops up in different places. The share fair that happened on Wednesday here was part of that interchange. Okay, then let me come to the forces in the middle. And there we had uh, our whole understanding of building a movement, a sustainable movement. Our houses, our polity, the spirit movement, our religious houses were all part of this, the forces in the center. How did we sustain ourselves in the midst of any of this? Um, I think that was the only one there on the forces. Um, this group gathered here is another example of the forces. And as it, whenever we come together to make this come alive. Down here, our action, I was thinking this might be uh, just understanding how societies work, our whole social process triangle was in all that research that we did down here. Now you could put it in a number of different places also, but that uh, building, uh, let's see, forces. Um, the society, there's also the transformational strategic thinking, our lens courses, our town meetings. Those also may be part of our action dynamic, our planning strategies, our whole TOPS network is part of this action, moving out. And finally then, this was the one that was to me the biggest mystery, is what was that new story going to be about? And I've, I've spent my last 20 years trying to understand that, but this sheet that Gordon gave me was helpful, because I think part of this is our exploring the practices of our interior life might be part of, of where this goes. Uh, the new religious mode, the other world charts, our profound humanness, our understanding. We have been about creating that new myth in everything we did, in all of our constructs. The new humanness, what did the planet look like? That all of that was part of this new understanding that we're taking forth. So that might be just one way of taking a look at that. and. Because the poems have been so important to me, I just want to close with a poem from Mary Oliver. And this is another way of saying what we're about. Song of the Builders. On a summer morning, I sat down on a hillside to think about God, the mystery, the unsynonymous, a worthy pastime. Near me, I saw a single cricket it was moving the grains of the hillside, this way and that. How great was its energy, how humble its effort. Let us hope it will always be like this. Each of us going on in our own inexplicable way, building the universe. Thank you.